thy prayers and thine alms are come up before God as a memorial. Now, I'm telling you what, that is glorious when you think about the words of this angel to Cornelius, the soldier, the servant of God, the lover of God, a man who is involved in a, in a time of prayer. He's, he's praying to God, and he sees this vision of this angel that just appears to him. And uh, the angel says to him, he said, you have got the attention of God. <laughs> I'm, I'm just marveling at that. You have come to God's attention. And he, and he understands your heart to pray for him, your generous heart to give to the people of God and to the kingdom of God. And so now God's going to do something in Cornelius' life. As I've told you this already in the last week or so, we are just talking about this. This is such a transformation time. I mean, things are changing here in the realm of the ability of people to understand that God is a lover of all humanity because that was not clearly understood. If you even go back in reading in the Gospels on the fourth chapter of John where Jesus was at the well of Sychar, Jacob's well there, and he met a Samaritan woman, what did she say? She said, it's not even uh, lawful for a Jew to even speak to a Samaritan. That's, that was the climate and the culture of the day. And here, at this time in history, what Cornelius experiences is changing it for all of us. And the thing about it is that the reason why God chose him was because of his heart his seeking after God. Church, I, I just want you to understand something here, how important this is. Because throughout history, history has been made because of people, men and women, who sought God. And, of course, the thing about seeking God is that we, we seek it, or we seek God in the only way that we know how as humans. And uh, God looks at the heart. And, and God's looking at the heart of this man, Cornelius, this centurion, this soldier. And he says, uh, I'm going to use you to change the world, to change the hearts of people. And that's what he tells him. He says, you need to send some servants down to the, the house of Simon the Tanner in Joppa. So down from Caesarea, down to Joppa, Cornelius chooses out three people, two household servants and a soldier. But I find this to be fascinating about the soldier. You know what it said about the soldier? It said that he was also a devout man. Cornelius used somebody that he knew he could trust and somebody who would understand what the mission was all about. A, a devout soldier, two household servants. They're going down to Joppa for a mission that's going to be very, very important. It's Pastor Jack King with the gospel on the radio broadcast. <laughs> 